from Studio 3C in Rockefeller Center, this is News 4 New York. We come back to the James Beard Foundation and their new cookbook, All American Eats. Hope you stay with us. Well, we have a foodie alert for you now. There is a great new cookbook for you to test out your culinary skills. And this one is from the Authority of American Cuisine, the James Beard Foundation. It's called James Beard's All American Eats, recipes and stories from our best loved local restaurants. And tonight we're going to feature some tri-state favorites. Allison Tazi Lu is the editorial director for the James Beard Foundation. And Gary Greengrass owns the award-winning restaurant Barney Greengrass. And I have to blame at least five pounds on my body because of your establishment. It's great to have you in. Step in a little bit as we take a look at this delicious food. Allison, tell me a little bit about the cookbook. Kind of what are you trying to do with it and what are you trying to highlight? Sure. So James Beard's All American Eats highlights all of our America's Classics Award winners. And there are a, se a segment of our award winners that have won in their region for their local regional cuisine. And these are all locally owned restaurants and they've been open for at least 10 years, but like Barney Greengrass, a lot of them have been open for much a, longer. A New York institution. So Absolutely. how do you, I mean, you, there are all these sort of great places around, around sure. the country. Obviously, Barney Greengrass is a staple here in New York. How, how do you break them all down? How do you make the selection? So our awards committee each year picks five new winners from different regions around the country. And so in the book, we separated it into five different regions around the country. Okay. So in New York and the Northeast, we have a lot of America's classics. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of people and we have a lot of great restaurants. So some of the recipes that we brought here today are from restaurants in New York City and around New York. Gary, we always think of, you know, lox and bagels. And there's so much more to your menu as well. What are we going to see from your restaurant in this cookbook? In this cookbook, we have our delicious homemade cheese blintzes. Oh, yes, they are. Made yes, from they are. scratch, mm -hmm. never frozen. And we have our homemade borscht. Irving Berlin used to order up five quarts every week, so either you live to be 100 or it'll help you write a song, one or the other. <laughs> Tell us about your restaurant. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people watching are probably big fans, but really, you know, we, use, we throw out this phrase, New York institution, for a lot of things. Truly, your establishment is. I mean, tell us about the family business and how it got going. Well, I'm the third generation. My grandfather, Barney, started the business in 1908, and I was in business with my dad, Mo, who had passed away about 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to keep the tradition going, but being an award winner in this book, the, an American classic, really validates all their hard work, and it's, a, it's an honor to be in the book. What do you think they would have said to you? said, we're going to be in this big, elite cookbook with all these people. <laughs> what, do, you, do, you think, do you think they would have given you a little grief for that, you know, saying, don't get too big for your britches, knowing well, the family? I was, I was called my father the, the Jewish Monday morning quarterback. You know, whatever you do, <laughs> whatever you, whatever you, do you know, you, you're, you're okay. If you mess up, you, you know. Yeah, you're finished. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you take a chance on something, you know. Family businesses are, are tough, and you keep it going. Now we have. We talked about the blintzes over here. What else do we have here? So Allison? these are some recipes fantastic from here. some restaurants in New York City. So a new America's classic. They were just awarded last year's Sevilla Restaurant, which is in Chelsea. Okay. We have two recipes from them in the book. This is mariscada and green sauce. It's a, a lot of seafood. It smells amazing. And what's in there? We got lobster, uh, lobster mussels. Lobster, mussels. Oh, yeah. okay. We have some fantastic. clams in there, and just like a really well seasoned sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, with olive oil and then we also have some flan from them and that's in the book too. Um, mm -hmm. If you've never made flan before it's a really great recipe to get you started. And was there an attempt sort of to do a, a diversity of sort of different cultures and backgrounds of different types of food? Absolutely. Yeah. So the awards are really made up of the kinds of cuisine in that region. So in New York and the Northeast we have everything from you know a Spanish restaurant to a wonderful place like Barney Greengrass to mm -hmm. pizza from New Haven and we have all of those recipes in the book. And uh, now I have to ask is the buffalo yeah. wings are they from Buffalo or are there a lot of jurisdictions now uh, could the claim responsibility so for buffalo these, wings? So these these wings in the book are from Anchor Bar which is in Buffalo New York. And that is they claim the original the Anchor Bar in Buffalo yes. is, is allegedly the spot where they invented them. Absolutely they claim to be the first spot where they invented them this is their recipe um, it's a great simple recipe I made this right before I came today. Did and, you really? Yeah. Can I have one? Sure. Okay, I can try them. They're fresh here. What's in them? Are, are they really hot? I'm not going to like get They're all red. They're not super hot. Right. Um, the recipe is like a medium hot, and then you, it, we give you ways to adjust it. Nice? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> adjust it for to be less spicy or more spicy. Okay. I have, well, I have to have. I'm sorry. I'm going to dinner after yeah. this, but uh, <laughs> is it okay with my hands? Sure. I'm not making a mistake protocol. <laughs> like. These are left hand blintzes. It's okay, okay. All right. <laughs> what do you dip them in? What's a little, little sour cream? A little sour cream. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. While I have you here. Before, I mean, the holidays are in September. Potato pancakes. This is a big thing. I'm from the five towns. Applesauce or sour cream? 
we serve them both ways, but... <laughs> don't get all Kissinger. Don't I'm, get all diplomatic I'm, I'm on not, me I'm here. not getting Kissinger. Okay, all right, I'm, not yeah. run, I'm not running for president. Don't yeah. worry. I can, yeah. I'll go for myself. It's applesauce. <laughs> applesauce? Really? Got to live on the edge. All right, very good. Okay, let me just have a little taste of this, Jill. It's really good. Oh, so we're so <laughs> where can people find the book? And they're more interested in the James Beard Foundation. Where can they So on our, on our website, jamesbeard.org, and jamesbeard.org slash cookbook is where you can get the book. All right, great talking to you, Allison. Thanks so Gary, much. Gary, always good to see you. Good I'll see you soon. Thank this you for having Probably us. this weekend with my friend Morgan. James Beard's All American <laughs> Eats, recipes and stories from our best loved local restaurants. A reminder that eating is about family and stories as well as good food. We appreciate you coming in. And we'll be right back. Stay with us. You're watching News 4. It is one of life's cruel ironies that we have brought this fantastic food here, and there's not a knife or fork we can find in the studio as we take a look at this flan. And again, what is this called, Allison? That's mariscata and green sauce. All right, among the many, many delicious meals, including some specialties from Barney Greengrass, featured in uh, James Beard's All American Eats Recipes and Stories from Best Love Local Restaurants. That'll do it for News 4 at 7. I'm Gus Rosendale. See you soon. Thank you for having us in for news. Hope you have a good night.